What's the crack, lads? Welcome to your Thursday roundup. We've got a lot of stuff to go through today. It's going to be cards, 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 and a couple of things to talk about. So we do have our login bonus. There's also a brand new campaign for coins. So a lot of people were asking for that. There is a 750 million downloads campaign now as well, which is going to give you a total of 70 coins. So it's not obviously the best. I mean, don't spend it all at once now, boys, but uh, it's something. It's something. Then also on top of that, just to go through this from left to right, we have our usual... Uh, array of events against the AI and of course uh, AI uh, events here and PvP events here including 3v3 or co-op PvP event, European clubs, you've got the Mexican clubs, the Italian clubs is still ongoing and then of course we have our legend challenge event against the AI, the European clubs challenge event with the 750 million campaign and all of these here that you see. So this is going to be very, very nice. If you have, I suppose if you don't have much GP or you don't have much training programs, it's always nice just to play this. You can sim all the games. It's just something a little bit extra. As I said, we've already talked about a lot of the stuff that needs to be added to the game. eFootball League and the match pass is still ongoing until the 9th of the 5th, which is next week. So this time next week, we are going to have that but we do have a brand new uh, match pass here that you see uh, pricing wise. So this new match pass that's going to be coming um, is going to be also discounted as far as we know. So this is going to be, I think, it until, you know, it's going to be mostly like this for the next couple of weeks, right? You have your campaigns, you have everything else like that. There's no big major update on this here. They just talk about an eFootball league issue saying that people would be getting 10,000 GP because there was an issue with actually getting the rewards from it. But yeah, a lot of this stuff needs to be fixed and needs to be revamped for the next big update. We have all our login bonuses there. And then it's going to be on two players and packs and whatever way you want to talk about it, it's always going to be very, very, very pack heavy when you have a lot of players released at the same time. All of these objectives here, you can still continue to do those. They're kind of refreshed. Um, and also you have your career objectives that you can continue to do as well. A lot of people always ask me about the eFootball points, the players in the eFootball points specifically. There is nobody here uh, in the eFootball points that has been added. But uh, Mainu does, Mainu does actually end this time next week. So it's seven days with the next next big update that's when i think the next big update is going to be it's usually tied into this and the match pass and the next season starting off so on to the actual cards themselves we'll keep it short we'll keep it sweet no waffle and we'll just get straight into it we have our contract situation here with the amazing players or the special players or whatever you want to call them this is going to be it so we have got a shivchenko sorginio and hollet pack which is the epic ac milan re-release we've got brand new worldwide player of the weeks we have saka we have dante we have Lewandowski. we have a couple of more we've got the liga bbva and of course we have all of these ongoing as well now again as i said all of these nominating contracts, they're going to be gone next week. So we will be getting brand new nominating contracts next Thursday. We'll have a bit more information on that in the live stream later as well. I'll give you a few tidbits to, to, to sink your, te your teeth into. I will do reviews on these as well. The player of the weeks here, this is the full list of the player of the weeks. Right, you've got the Paul Lewandowski, you've got Moslera, Dante, you've got Gomez, you've got Izek, you've got Saka. There's a lot of good players here. We predicted a lot of these that would be coming. Uh, I think we got about five or six of them right. Um, maybe only four, actually. I'm not too sure. But yeah, you got Booster Saka and Lewandowski. Booster Saka is actually quite decent with the with the booster here. And the fact that he's got able to play like a lot of different positions. So I do like the look of this guy. He's got 71 aggression. 80 aggression now seems to be a really cool uh, stat for most attacking players. I'll get into that as well in the live stream. But yeah, the AC Milan pack is going to be a 150 pack draw. And these are all the players. These are re-releases, right? So Hullet and Shevchenko have been out before. These are re-release boosters. If you have not got, uh, uh, if you haven't spun from before, I think they're probably just kind of for the next couple of weeks. Uh, it's very unusual that you bring epics out on a Thursday, but that's what they're doing now. But you can see here that we now have two epic packs going in tandem. I reckon what they're probably doing is they're probably trying to empty, uh, you know, everything out or just, you know, throw everything at us, uh, especially for newcomers and for people that are kind of coming over uh, towards the end of the season. And I think that this will especially happen with the Euros when that kicks off next month or so. So, yeah, I think that we're going to get a lot of new cards. We're going to get a lot of new boosters. We're going to get a lot of new stuff to actually get um, when the next big update comes, which looks for all intents and purposes to be next week. No packs, additional packs, nothing, none here. This is just going to be all the same thing. So Pep 
and Xabi Alonso still 62 days, 20 days for two of those and or for that kit and 34 days in that. The rest of the players, lads, are all going to be the same. There's no real differences to the players apart from the packs there. Um, the daily game is still ongoing. There's nothing else there. As you see, the eFootball coin sale is still ongoing. And as far as I'm, I, I'm sure that's going to be another week. I'll just double check for you guys if you haven't spotted that already. Yeah, that's actually going to be unlimited. So you can just get that whenever you actually want to get it. So yeah, look, it's all going to be about every Thursday now is going to be about the same story until they bring in a next big kind of style of content. And at the moment, it's more about, I think, kind of like... How will I say this? It's more about kind of the, the grind of it and the actual kind of beating of the grind of the game and spinning. You know, that's kind of where the game is at at the moment. I think that will change. I think that they will revamp things. I'm very excited to see what they're going to bring next Thursday because this match pass from the 9th to the 6th of June is going to be 50% off as well. And we're also going to be getting a couple of more bits and pieces to go along with that. But that's going to be next week. That's going to be next week. Well, the coin sale does end actually um, in 34 days. So it's not unlimited, but you have, you know, it's just whatever way they have it done. Um, I think that the player of the weeks this week are slightly better than last week, but still they're not going to change the dial for you too much. We'll also do a review on the Liga BBVA. And these are still ongoing as well with team play back for three days as well. Yeah, so that's basically it, lads. I won't keep it longer than it needs to be. That is just a quick roundup if you're not at your console. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, every, every time I get asked a question about player reset, lads, I honestly feel that with player reset, they're not going to bring the free player reset until if they're going to bring it, it'll be next Thursday. That's my opinion on it. I think when the next big update comes, that is when they will bring it. But let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you later. We will be streaming later, so hope to see you in the chat. And we'll go into a few more details there. Until then, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button if you're a beast. We'll talk to you in a bit.